you're not new to my channel, you know that a big thing I do on here is rabbit product recommendations. I feel like I make a ton of different videos telling you different products you should buy, but this time I decided to switch it up a little bit. Today, I'm going to be trying out your favorite products. Hello Buns, welcome to Cinnabun Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all Thanks, Bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's Bun Mom, and I am so excited to try out these products that you tried. I have quite a few here next to me, and we are going to go through rabbit toys, rabbit accessories, bunny proofing things, all sorts of stuff. Let me also just go ahead and apologize for my voice. I have been sick, that's why we didn't have a video last week, but I'm on the up and up, I just sound a little scratchy. I feel like I have just been using and recommending the same products over and over again, and honestly, I could just use something new to switch it up. So I posted on our Instagram asking for your favorite products and I went ahead and bought all of them with my own money. None of these are sponsored. So these are going to be my own personal thoughts and we're going to try all of those out here today. And who knows, maybe I will have a new favorite product and maybe you'll get some inspiration too. Now, if you wanna be a part of videos like this in the future, make sure that you are following us on Instagram and Seriously, reach out, comment down below. Maybe I'll do a part two to this video if there's a ton of different products that you guys want me to try. So it is hot outside and luckily my house is air conditioned, but even then it can still feel warm in the house. And a lot of times you need a way to cool your rabbit off. So a big thing you guys recommended for me was a cooling mat. Here it is, this is it. I was a little underwhelmed when I saw it. It literally just came like this, like there's the tag. It's just a piece of reflective tin, but it is cool to the touch. So the idea of this is that if your rabbit is hot, they can like lay on this and it'll like help cool them down. I figured the best way for her to lay on this would be if I put it underneath the chair that she always takes her afternoon nap under. Unfortunately, that didn't go so well. I decided to keep this here for a few days because she was not having it. She would just look at it and then go somewhere else to nap. And I figured maybe eventually she would be interested. Unfortunately, this was not for us. I think part of the reason is there's a tile in the bunny room and the tile is already cool. So it's kind of unnecessary for us to have this. But also one thing about Cinnabon is if there's something that she's meant to lay on, she will not lay on it. Beds and little like, blankets and things like that have never worked for us. She's never been interested in laying on top of things. So I think for us, the cooling mat was not great, but hey, if you have a rabbit that just always seems like it's hot, maybe there's a lot of carpet, this could be a good option for your rabbit. All right, this next one I'm really excited about. It is this giant dog toy tower. It's made for dogs, but let's be real, rabbits can use it too. It looks like it's just an enrichment toy, so let's try it out. What I think is really cool about this is there's a lot of different levels that you can do. So you can start with just the basic level by putting just the first section down, let your rabbit figure out how it works. And then as they figure out the toy, you can add sections on top of it. I'm not gonna lie, I really liked this. I put a ton of forage in it and Cinnabon figured it out, but was definitely perplexed by it. And I was able to add and stack a couple of things on top so that she could think a little bit more about it. I think this is gonna be something really, really cool to use and continue using because there's just so many different iterations of it. So I feel like there's a lot of different ways to train Cinnabon to think and forage for her food. I think this was a win. I think it's pretty cool and I like that it's big. That way Cinnabon can like really dig at it, really go at it and it's not gonna fall over. Next up is pretty simple, but I've actually never tried it. It's just this oxbow hay tunnel. And I was specifically recommended to use this as a thing to put hay in. So like an extra hay source. One thing I love about my current hay setup is that it's inside of Cinnabon's litter box. So she's not making a mess of her hay everywhere, but I could definitely see this being really, really a great option if your rabbit is sick or recovering and you just need a hay source close by or multiple hay sources. It could also be really great if you're traveling or gonna be gone for the day and you just need to have a little bit of extra enrichment out for your rabbit. So I think this is something that I'm not gonna keep out frequently, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to and use as needed. Next up was a bunny proofing type tool and it is this little brush here. Now it doesn't look like much, but apparently this is like a really great brush for getting fur off of furniture. And that is something that I need. There is fur everywhere all the time. So if this is a really easy thing that I don't need to whip my vacuum out for, then it could be cool. It definitely did get the fur off 
off of the furniture. I was actually pretty surprised. I just swiped it like twice and fur was coming up, but it kind of comes at a cost. The little edges of this brush are really sharp and I found if I pushed too hard or even if I pushed with like moderate intensity, I was like pulling up on the fabric and making it pill. So for me specifically, I don't think I'll be using this again because I already have a vacuum with an attachment that works really, really well on furniture. So this is really cool, but I don't really wanna ruin my furniture with it. So I think I will be sending this one back. And the last thing I wanted to try out was something that a lot of you guys were commenting about and something I've been thinking about for a long time. It is an automatic water fountain. At this point, Cinnabon has an automatic feeder. So, I mean, we might as well just be a fully automated household. The whole idea of this thing is that there is a filter that you can put inside of here. So it's constantly refreshing the water and keeping it clean and it's keeping like fur and dust out of it by using that filter. There's a little spigot that squirts the water out so it kind of pulls at the top, filters down into the base and then comes back out. So it's constantly moving, it keeps it cool because it's in a stainless steel bowl and it keeps it clean with that filter and you have to change the filter every two weeks. Right off the bat, Cinnabon was absolutely terrified of this so I automatically started worrying that she would just stop drinking water and just dehydrate and die, which is a bit aggressive. I placed it in the exact same spot that her normal water feature is in. So at least that way she is aware that that's where water is. And I just kind of lured her over with a treat and sure enough, she did start drinking from it. One thing that's kind of hard about this though is I couldn't really tell how much Cinnabon was drinking. Sure, if I wanted to open up the container and like look inside to see how much water had gone, I could tell, but what's nice about a water bowl is you can just look in the water bowl, see if it's full, see if it's empty, and then change it. It's just constantly cycling, so I don't know if she's had a lot to drink or just a little without it kind of being an ordeal. But I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice in the mornings not having to worry about her water and just having that right there. And honestly, the sound of the fountain is quite nice. So my final thoughts on the automatic water feature. I don't know if I'm going to keep it out all of the time, just because I really do like being able to monitor how much Cinnabon is drinking day to day. But I think that this could be a really great thing for if you're really busy in the mornings or if you're traveling and you just want to make sure that they have fresh water and you can tell your pet sitter to keep an eye on it, make sure it's full. It just takes away one extra step for somebody watching your rabbit to worry about. So I definitely think that this is useful and I definitely think a lot of you guys would benefit from it. But for our current situation, I don't think it's gonna be an everyday product for me. And that's it, Buns. Those are the products that you guys told me to try out. But seriously, if there are products that you absolutely love that you've never seen me use, please comment them down below because I would honestly love to make a part two to this video. I can always use ideas and I would love to share those ideas with our community. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for suggesting these products and I will see you in our next video. Bye Buns.